Christy and I'm here with two boxes for a toddler two to four and I can't wait to show you what's inside. They're both a little bit different but before I open them I just want to thank you so much for watching my channel and for commenting. I really love the idea that our community is growing and it's growing because of you. So thank you for that and I hope that you are really getting on board with the idea of packing quality shoe boxes, fitting the most in so we're not sending air, and really sending the gospel message with our letter, our love letter, and our photo inside the box so the child can really feel God's love when they open the lid. So let's see what's inside of this one. And first I'll just tell you that I have a new packing system, so hopefully it works out and I'll be able to get more things in a box quickly, more shoe boxes packed quickly because of this new system. So um, I will tell you about that in a different video, but right now I just want to show you what the child will see, hopefully, when they open the shoe box. I am going to print the disclaimers from blessingsinashoebox.com, our website, and put them up here so hopefully they won't take everything out and then try to repack it because it's pretty full. The um, printables is on our printables page and it's just a disclaimer that you can cut out and include in your shoebox that says we aren't allowing anything that is disallowed by Samaritan's Purse in this shoebox. So this is obviously a dinosaur shoe box and it has this really cute dinosaur from Passion Fruit is the, I think there's four that comes in a set and I love, I love this dinosaur. It's so soft, it reminds me of my little dog. Oh, really cute. So we do like to include plush toys in every single shoe box. A lot of children have never had anything like this and we really want them to with the soft touch and um, just the ability to cuddle it's just a nice thing to include for every child so we have a plush there and then we also have this is kind of a big um, toy too I, I it's not really the wow toy definitely the dinosaur is the wow toy but i loved this idea because it's kind of like a jurassic park jeep so to me, in my mind, I thought that it would be cool with the dinosaurs. And inside the back, you can put a little washcloth or something there, but I put this little poppet dinosaur. And I love it that the guy comes out. So cute. And I got multiples of this on Amazon when they were on sale. So I'm really glad I was able to do that. Then I have my cup here. And his, I guess I should say his cup. And inside the cup is a mustache whistle. And this is, I took this out of the pencil pouch. It's the dual pencil uh, sharpener. Because if I put it in, because I put the flat things on the bottom and if I put it in my pencil pouch, it makes a bump and it, everything doesn't lay as well. Uh, he has a really cute organza bag that Michelle sent me that's filled with friendship bracelets to share and then he has a really cute pair of dinosaur underwear fruit of the loom I love the waistband has all the little dinosaurs on it and it has such a cute striped pattern so that was fun to find and then I have a second car I just had some I still had some room left so he's gonna get a second car and a rattle that Michelle made. I love the fleece, very soft fleece, and the jingle bells inside. And then he has the foldable disc. I get those in bulk, and they're so nice for really the children of all ages. They can also be used as a fan, and they fold up nice and flat inside of a shoe box. Put it in its little case. And I also have a little dinosaur backpack. I'm sure I got these in Amazon and I had a few left over from last year. Um, I don't normally save things, but I just felt like this wasn't something that would be beneficial to a shoe box and I could use it more this year. So I had this one lone dinosaur um, backpack that I kept. And then I have something in here. Let's see what it is. It's a cute little 
gray drawstring bag. And inside, aha, it is a pump. So it comes with some needles in here. I put some extra needles and it is for his playground ball. So a playground ball is, I love the bright colors, but it comes deflated. It has, he has a foldable toothbrush in the fold of the little ball. But when he gets his pump and his playground ball, he can blow it up and have lots of fun playing with friends. Um, inside the socks that I have on the side here are a pair of sunglasses. And they have the, um, let's see, it says UV 400 protection. So that's good. On the side, it's the yellow and the blue. I like how it's contrasted. And then here's his in the back of the shoe box. He has an alligator puzzle, all different colors, fun. I really loved the deal that we were able to get on those puzzles. Michelle posts the deals. If you're not on our Facebook page, it's Blessings in the Shoe Box. She gets amazing, finds amazing deals and then posts them on uh, the group for all of us if we want, in case we want to get that for our shoe box. And this is a really cute t-shirt I got. It was hard for me to find. I, I did find some dinosaur t-shirts, but it was hard for me to find um, a lot of dinosaur t-shirts that were the right price. So um, I found these at my local uh, Gap Factory outlet. $4.99, so I thought that would be, with the desert scene and everything, would be perfect for these dinosaur shoe boxes. And this is his dinosaur lacing card. I thought that was really cute. And we don't, we don't really need to include directions. It's just fun for them and for their dexterity to go in and out with the, the lace and the holes. They can do it however they want, but showing them by already having it pre-laced is helpful, probably. Here is... Um, his crayons and now we're getting to the school supplies I almost to the bottom these are all the flat things um, I have all of his pencils I have a orange pen in here click pen his yellow scissors and a calf composition book and a sheet of stickers I think that's all in here lots of pencils including a big one of those big Ticonderoga pencils. I can't get to it. So these, I love these zipper pouches and with the clear window. These are really nice and I was really thankful to Michelle for finding them for me early, early in the season. This is his um, spoon and it's from Ikea too. His washcloth. Like I said, all the flat things now on the bottom. And this is the really sweet blanket that Michelle made from her dinosaur boxes. Really nice soft flannel. Um, another page of stickers. A purple bandana. A 12 inch wooden ruler. I put that in diagonally. And his coloring book. The coloring book has such good pictures for toddlers. I hope you can see that they're nice and simple to color in and very, um, it's not scary. And you can print these out for yourself if you're interested on blessingsinashoebox.com on the printables page. So that brings me to the end of this shoe box. I think I'll probably go ahead and do this one um, real quick after, um, after I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do it in a different video. Um, because I don't want it to be this to be too long for you, but I'll do it right away and post them both at the same time. Hopefully, you were able to get some good information, some good ideas from this shoebox, and then I'll have fun showing you this one. I made um, ten dinosaur boxes, all of us uh, for today and yesterday, and I know that's not a lot because some people pack 20, 30 shoe boxes in a day, but. This uh, is a really cute one, and then I wanted to show you a couple of other ones. I just am in love with these dinosaur shoe boxes, and I'm so 
um, I'm on a roll now. So I really feel really good about what I'm including in all the boxes. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page and blessingsinissuebox.com for all kinds of printables and lots of other information that will help you pr um, pack the best shoe boxes. So God bless you and bye for now.